the guillotine. Daddy Rambo. Yeah, on a beautiful Sunday. Well, not so beautiful, but it is Sunday. It's kind of a overcast <clears throat> Sunday, but... Yeah, speaking of which, uh, I got fucking soaked this morning. Yeah. I, uh... Actually, I wasn't even planning on hunting this morning. I woke up at 4 o'clock and was wide awake. So you were like, fuck it. I was like, fuck it. Yeah, hell yeah. I'm going. Didn't even check the weather. <laughs> That's not smart. <laughs> uh uh-uh. uh uh-uh. I was like making coffee. I'm like, hell yeah. All right. Okay. I'm not even hung over. This is cool. Yeah. You ever, ever wake up in the morning and expect to be hung over and you're not? It's like, it, it's just a pleasant surprise. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I'll just... I'll be hung over, and then I'll drink that night, just expecting whilst I'm getting drunk, that I'm gonna be hung over. And uh, sometimes I wake up not hung over. Like this morning, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, it's nice. Like, as you get older, man, it's like I fucking dread hangovers, and they are Ugh. they kick my ass now, like for days. <sighs> in my early days, twenties, in my early twenties, I I mean it, it was like no factor. Yeah. You know what I mean? But now it's like. Oh, God, just fuck me. I, I can't. I hate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I dread it. I'm to the point now where I'm like, should I start drinking some water between each beer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I even <laughs> bought some pills. They're like, uh, I can't remember what they're called, but they're supposed to help with hangovers. Mm-hmm. I think they do. I mm-hmm. think they help. It, it's not, it doesn't like take your hangover away, but I, I do think it helps. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But anyway, so I wake up before, just dicking around the house, mm-hmm. head outside. Uh, decided to go into the backyard. See, that's a beautiful thing. Yeah. If 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 it was anywhere else, I probably would have just forced myself to go back to bed. But mm-hmm. I was like, you know what? I'm going to go hunt in my backyard. Yeah. And I walked 50 yards from my back deck and climbed a tree. No shit. Yeah, I was going to ask where you where exactly you went. You just kind of winged it in the dark, huh? Well, I had I had spotted some trees that I liked. Mm. Um, because they're they're clearly there's game trails where they're basically. They're hugging, like, the backyards of yeah. my neighbors and go, going through the woods. And, like, my neighbors both have big gardens. Mm-hmm. And you can see a clear game trail where they're cutting in between the houses and hitting the gardens. Mm. So, <clears throat> and obviously I have corn in my backyard. <laughs> uh, but they're not really coming. The only time they're showing up in my backyard in daylight is, like, midday. Yeah. It's it's dark. So I didn't want to sit, like, actually in my backyard. I figured mm. I'd go in the woods a little bit. And uh, seen some deer, which was cool. Oh, shit. Uh, probably not even 15 yards from me. Mm. Uh, two deer. And I couldn't. It was too dark. It wasn't. It may have been after first light, but I was in the woods. Yeah. So it was like two. I couldn't. I couldn't have shot. Yeah. I couldn't. I, I couldn't tell if they were bucks or does. You know what I mean? But, somebody's Labrador. Yeah. But uh, <clears throat> definitely seen two deer. So that was cool, and probably 10 minutes later, it just busted loose, dude. I mean, just torrential downpour. <laughs> and I was like, all right, whatever. You know what I mean? I was like, this will be this will be like a passing shower. Yeah. You know? And it kept raining. Yeah. And it kept raining. And I'm like, motherfucker, it's going on. Like I'm sitting in the rain for an hour. I'm soaked at this point. And I, like, drenched. You know, mm-hmm. might as well jump in a fucking pool. And I, I pull out my phone and try to fucking unlock it and i finally get it unlocked because you know the raindrops are like hitting the screen uh, and it's all fucky i look at the weather and it's like two more hours of this and i'm like <laughs> i'm just gonna get down because even though it was like 70 degrees i was still cold oh you know yeah what i mean because it was windy and not real windy but windy enough mm. and i'm soaking wet and i was like i'm gonna go take a bath hmm. yeah. well, at least you got out there I mean, seen something yeah it was cool Hell yeah. That's a good hunt. I think, uh, I mean, right now, just being in the woods feels just oh, amazing. God. Yeah. 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 Feels like getting out of jail after doing like 10 years. <laughs> I don't know what that feels like, but that I would I would imagine that's what, that's what it feels like. Yeah. Man, Friday morning, it was just glorious. Glorious to get up in that tree. Oh, my God. And... I pulled into the quarry, and there was a tree down the middle of the road, and I was fully expecting not to see a friggin' thing because I brought a loader up to move the tree, and uh, I was fully expecting not to see anything, and I didn't care. No. Didn't give it a one flying fuck. I was going to sit there for three, four hours, no matter what. 
Just enjoy your time. Just enjoy my time, yeah. And uh, but I did end up seeing a spike in full velvet, and about a fifteen pound fawn snuck up on me. So that was it. Still well, a good hunt. It's not a bad first sit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Did you get out there like bright and early, or did that tree being in there did that slow you down? No, no, it, it was kind of halfway in the road, so I just zoomed right past it. I still got there on time. Oh, okay. Bright and early, and uh, it's good. Good first sit in the saddle. I'm thoroughly impressed. So, what's your initial like experience with it, comfort wise? I would give it. A eight out of ten on comfort wise. How do you think it compares to a climber? A climber, I think a climber might be more comfortable. Hmm. I think a climber might be more comfortable, but what you have to do to get up and execute a shot in a climber, it doesn't compare to how easy it is in a in a saddle. Yes. Yeah. No. I think I'd, I I. Could agree with that. Yeah. I mean, uh, you get that saddle set up nice, like just right, man. Especially if you put a back band on, <clears throat> like yeah. I think it can be even more comfortable than a climber. Yeah, and <clears throat> I'm I'm going, I'm sitting in my setup, and I'm learning things. And the setup I got right now, it's not ideal. I got that uh, belay device and a hollow block on or auto block. What are they called? Mm-hmm. And I'm not able to like swivel through on the bridge you know what i mean mm. how like you turn yeah because that hollow block has to be tight on that belay device to keep me from fucking falling gotcha so i can't swivel through oh, it that kind of sucks so shots on my right side are pretty much impossible mm. yeah see I, I didn't know that yeah i didn't know it either but figured it out friday damn yeah so i really have to be mindful to set up to where a deer's coming in on my left side. Now, does that make you want to get a different belay device? <clears throat> I was looking at Mad Rocks today. <laughs> yeah. Because like, that kind of sucks. Yeah. I mean, fuck that, dude. Yeah. 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 I, I would, I would, uh, I've heard the Grigri. Have you seen, heard about that mm. thing? I've heard that's really nice. Yeah. I'm definitely going to get something different. Yeah. For sure. The Grigri looks bigger than the Mad Rock, but apparently it is better. It's yeah. a smoother operating device. Okay. That's, uh, that's what the fucking freaks on Reddit say. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was looking up Mad Rocks a day, and they're still 110 freaking dollars. Yeah, so and they're probably gonna go up too. Oh yeah, probably. Yep, with deer season, they will go up. I, the last year, I think they went up to. At one point, they were like 130, 140. Well, the Grigri is the same amount. Oh, well, yeah. Some people on like uh, what is that called? Slide Rock or Mad Rock? Fo- not Slide. I don't know. Some like hunting forum. Uh, and read it. A lot of them guys speak pretty highly of the Grigri. I thought about giving it a try. I mean, I have no issues with the Mad Rock, but yeah, it's just fun to tinker with different shit, you know? Yeah. I'll probably get this or the Mad Rock, because another thing with that belay device I got, to, like, stand up more and to, and to pull rope out of it is easy, but then you got to hold on to one end of the rope and reach down and pull up your hollow block at the same time or else you're just gonna fucking fall out of the damn tree it's kind of dangerous yeah is what i'm getting at here <laughs> <laughs> jesus christ dude what the fuck uh, no it's that sounds, gonna fall. that sounds pretty <laughs> sketchy dude like hold on so if you just you know forget <laughs> to do that you're gonna fucking plummet to your death. No, you're not gonna plummet all the way, but you're gonna plummet a foot or two before the hollow block catches you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, it still sucks. <laughs> and if that thing isn't like fully tight, you're gonna fall like a little bit. Like we were at Fair Hill Friday afternoon, I fell like three inches, puckered my butthole. Yeah. So probably gonna order something now that we're talking about it. Probably gonna order something right now. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> God, fuck that, bro. Uh, uh, yeah. Mm-mm. You know, my dumbass, I would fuck that up for sure. Yeah. I would definitely fall. You had definitely have to be mindful of this fucking thing. Yeah. No, that's too too many hang hungover hunts for me that uh, I would fucking, I would screw that up and drop like three feet and just, oh, that would mm-hmm. scare the shit out of me. Yeah, it's, um, it's one of them things. I tried to save money, try something different, and now I got to pay. 
more for the right stuff. Yeah, you live and you learn. Yeah, you know, and that's, you know, it's always like that's. And I just did that. I bought this Eberly stock bag, mm-hmm. this uh, saddle bag, and it's really nice. I like it a lot. Uh, and I fought my urge to be cheap. It was fifty bucks, but there's like some really similar, not not some similar stuff on Amazon for like twenty five. Mm-hmm. And I was like, let me just get this one, you know. And I'm glad I did because okay. it's really nice. Good. And it's it's got all these. It's got like two compartments on both ends, and like so basically, I got rid of my dump pouch that you have mm-hmm. and my like just saddle bag that I keep shit in. Yeah. And replace both of those with this one bag and now I can fit everything in that bag. I might have to get <clears> one of them. It's pretty nice. I like it. Cuz that I, dump pouch is it's not quite big enough for my rope. Yeah. So, see your rope is bigger than mine though. So yeah, I think this this yeah. thing might be you know, it, Yeah. Okay. It might work, but I don't know. I got to get I got to figure something out cuz I still have to take my fanny pack in, which is annoying me. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe Do you I'll have just, saddlebags. I just have those two dump pouches. Oh, okay. Yeah, you need a saddlebag or two. Yeah, those I think you can go cheap on and get some, mm-hmm. get like one or two of them on Amazon. But I think you should get like one decent one off of Amazon, and then get like a nice pouch like I got. Mm-hmm. Which uh, my pouch might work for you, but man, it's gonna be tight with your rope because my rope. I can fit like my rope, a carabiner, my bow hoist, uh, the Mad Rock, and wind detector all in that pouch. Oh well, that's been plenty of plenty of room, I'd imagine. You c- you could probably make it work. Yeah. But I don't know how much else you're gonna be able to get in there. I can't fit anything else in the pouch I got now. Just the rope. Right. And this at least has yeah. the two side pockets. Yeah. So like you can get your rope, and then you could use those two pockets for whatever else. Yeah. It's pretty nice. I should have brought it over. I'll have to check it out. I, I like it. I think it's worth it. Yeah, I'm, I'm figuring out the figuring out the setup. And I still got one of those screw-in bow holders. That's not going to work. No. Because you got to do it. I'm not left-handed. So screwing it in backwards, that's funky. Yeah. Don't like that. I'm, they, they make some pretty cool uh, wraparound tree things. And not only that, but that's illegal for Blackwater. Too. Uh, yeah, I know. I think it's illegal everywhere, to be honest with you. Is it really? I think so. Maybe not on private land. No, definitely not private. Yeah. yeah. They can't tell you what you can do with your trees on private. Yeah, so I didn't use it Fair Hill. Wink, wink. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. (laughs) You know what? Actually, I've got... Oh, no, I think I gave that to Kevin. Mm. No, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, It thinks... eh, It's okay. Yeah, what do... I mean, what do you have, like a straps around the tree and has hooks all the way it's around called, it. It's uh, called like cyst strap. Tethered okay. makes it, which I'm not a big fan of tethered, but yeah. it's okay. It, it does the job. It works pretty good, but there's this new one <coughs> that I think I can't remember. I'll find it and I'll send it to you. I think Eastern Woods Outdoors makes it, but it's really nice and it's it's got like <clears throat> a real low profile and it's like 3D printed hooks. Oh for your bow hook and they like interlock mm-hmm. so it makes it like real low profile okay uh, let me look it up well it, it'll take me a minute to find it I'm not gonna do it right now but it's it's cool <coughs> it's pretty cool so uh, you wanna talk about uh, Friday evening I would like to forget all about Friday evening if you don't mind <laughs> well let me let me give you a rundown uh, of Blackwater so <coughs> Ryan and I Decided to go to Blackwater opening day. Mm-hmm. So I get up at 2.30 in the morning and make the two-hour trek down to Blackwater National Wildlife Refuge in Dorchester County, Maryland. And on my way down there, I'm like 20 minutes from the unit we're meeting at. And I, I make a right-hand turn, and I'm, I'm moving. I'm going you know, probably a little over the speed limit. Just a little bit fucking blue lights Johnny Law yeah damn it so I pull over and I'm like son of a bitch and I'm like alright I'm, I'm in Dorchester County like they know it's opening day at deer season they're gonna see me in camo like I'm gonna be good mm-hmm. and I'm like this this guy will probably be like oh you're, you're going out alright dude get on out of here and I look at my window and here comes a cop and it's a chick cop Ooh. 
I was like, fuck. I hope she hunts. <laughs> <laughs> or at least has a husband or a boyfriend that does. Yeah. But uh, she was cool, actually. She let me off with a warning. Uh, so shout out to whatever police department that was. Uh, I pulled out of there and immediately doubled the speed limit again. Yes, <laughs> so, obviously. Yeah. Duh. He's got shit to do. <laughs> and uh, I still made it there. I was. I got there at uh, 4.53. So I, we still had plenty of time before oh, yeah. first light. Was, uh, but I hastily got my gear all together and we trekked into the unit, climbed the tree, no issues. And I, what, what I was talking to Ryan about was like last year, man, when I first started to mess with the saddle, it, it was a lot of like figuring out like what I want. Mm-hmm. Not so much like, yeah, I was getting the hang of climbing and stuff, but it's also like what I want, how you want your system. Like how you were saying, like, yeah, this this belay device ain't for me. And mm-hmm. and what, what else were you saying? Oh, like I got to figure out a different way to get my a bow hanger. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's that was what I was doing all last year, was like just trying to figure out like what I needed in my system because that's what your saddle hunting setup it is like a system. Yeah. And everybody wants kind of different shit. Yeah. Which is cool because it's very unique to yourself and it's fun to tinker with and try different things to see what you what fits you and your style the best. Mm-hmm. This year going in, man, I felt like just like a well-oiled machine. Streamer. Yeah, like I, I'm still getting familiar with the Mad Rock, but everything else, like I know where everything's at. Like it's fucking money. You know what I mean? So it felt it felt just really good climbing in with the saddle. And like even this morning in the dark, like I fucking, I got to my tree and I hung my fucking platform up and I shut my headlamp off, like good to go climbing yeah. in the dark. You know what I mean? Because, you know, I, I like the green or the red lights. I think they're great. But if you think deer can't see that, you're wrong. They yeah. can see that. And and if you want a perfect example, your infrared camera, when that takes a picture of a deer, a lot of the times you'll see them look at it. Oh, yeah. When that fucking little red light goes off. Like, <clears throat> they see that light. So if you can go in completely dark, I think that is the best. But obviously, don't, you know, safety's paramount. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, a lot of times you need light. But I will not use the light if I can. Yeah. I'll use no light at all. Um, because the deer are still going to see that light. They might not see it as, as clearly as a white light, but green, red, pink, whatever color your light is, they're still seeing it. Do you think they see the light as a threat, though? That's a good question. You know, if I don't think it's good to bring attention yeah, to yourself. Yeah, that's true. That's you know, I, I, I just, I, is it going to spook them off? Maybe not. Yeah, but they're going to be like, what the fuck what is, is that, that over there? Yeah, and unless they're a really curious deer, yeah. they're probably <laughs> just going to avoid that area altogether. Yeah. So, yeah, I used my bright headlamp the whole way in, the whole way up Friday morning. Yeah. It's my first time in the dark. I wanted to be safe as possible yeah no and i i I use my headlamp all the time and sometimes i use the white one especially like down blackwater i'm like where the fuck am i right now (laughs) (laughs) because sometimes you know it's a little squirrely in there and get in the middle of the frag yeah it's uh man the the shadows in there it's a motherfucker Mm. yeah but uh it was a good sit uh didn't see dick until Nine thirty. Yeah. Now I don't know if it was another hunter coming out bumping them, but <clears throat> actually that's not true. <clears throat> Pretty sure it wasn't because when we got back to the parking lot around I don't know like ten fifteen, we climbed down at like ten and we got back to the parking lot, and the two trucks that were there were still there. So unless they were really slow, yeah. Uh, they were just moving at 930. I seen five sick of deer, uh, a couple hinds and a couple calves. I guess you would call their babies calves, right? What are they calves? I don't know. I want uh, fawns, calves. I don't know. Isn't that like sick of 30? Isn't that? That's what they say. Yeah. That's what they say. <clears throat> I mean, how much of that is true? And, yeah. you know, I don't know. But yeah. I, my first sick I shot, it was after 9 a.m. It was like five after nine. It's crazy. Yep. I'm excited to get down there. Sheesh, am I excited. Oh, I can't wait. My old bastard dad better buy a goddamn camper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> if not, I'm going to have a fucking Milwaukee fan, I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Well, our campsite has electric, doesn't it? Oh, uh, yeah, I think it does, actually. Okay, good, but, good, good. Yeah, I didn't really think about that. I hope to have electric. We'll have to look into that. Yeah. Uh, good luck calling that place. Oh, yeah. That lady was 100 years old. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> did Ryan tell you what Ryan did? He called and hung up, right? Yeah, he called, and the lady answers, she's like, hello, and he immediately hung up the phone. <laughs> Are we 18? There we 14? What the hell? He's like, it? that lady sounded like a fucking junkie or something, dude. I was like, no, she was just really old. <laughs> he just fucking hung up on her. Uh, he was like, not going there. <laughs> Uh, Ryan, you're not staying at your fucking house that week, you piece of shit. You, you're, you're camping <laughs> misery with the rest of us. <clears throat> yeah, but... That's cool you got to see some in their summer coat, though. Yeah, that was really cool. The summer coat, definitely different looking. And it was just nice to see them. Mm-hmm. You know, it was cool. So, uh, success, you know. Uh, it's wild how quick they change. Because they're like an orange right now. And in three weeks, they're going to be brown. Yep. It's yep. Fucking wild. Yeah, and they like sometimes they have a little bit of spots on them still, mm. but yeah, they'll be three, three, four weeks. They'll definitely be in their winter coats. Yeah. Yep. Can't wait to ice one. Oh God. We I was thinking about that today. We definitely got to go back to that one unit that was like two miles hiking. Yes, but we're yeah. taking bikes. Taking bikes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Ryan and I talked about that too. It, it's yeah, we got to take bikes. Yeah. It was such a drag. Yeah. You remember? Oh yeah. Yeah. It was uh, it was a hell of a drag, but <clears throat> yeah. So, I when I seen them, they were like eighty yards away, and Ryan was like, "Did you think about it?" <laughs> and I was like, "No, I didn't." Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, if they were like standing completely still, son, oh, that's I, a shot. That's a shot. Yeah, I probably still wouldn't have, but uh, maybe I don't know. But they were they were. They were moving pretty good, mm-hmm. so I, it didn't even cross my mind. I just, I just appreciated and watched from afar. That's it was cool. cool. That's fucking. That's a win. Yeah, that's how I figured it. You know, I'm, I'm glad I at least saw some. So yeah. it was awesome. Then shot up here. Uh, well, we stopped at RAR, had uh, had a couple beers, and then shot up here, and we went to Fair Hill. <laughs> you and I met up with you. Boy, did we ever. And. Uh, yeah, so, uh, who knew yeah. that uh, so much could change in a year and a half? It's wild, isn't it? <laughs> crazy. <laughs> it's crazy to think that, like, the earth changes and things grow. The and- season's different, you know? <laughs> yeah. I, I, was, I was just so, like, I was so, like, oh, man, it, it can't be that much different, you know what I mean? Like, I'm sure we'll be able to find a tree, you know? Like... <laughs> oh god <laughs> uh, that was wrong uh mm. so i scouted this place last march of 2022 uh i went for a hike there and i took the kids and i made like a, a fun like hiking trip out of it with the kids and it was fun and i found some like there was a bunch of there was a real thick area where they were obviously bedding and then like a bunch of trails coming out into this like kind of open area uh, between like two patches of fields and a creek on one side and there was like some small trees on one end and small trees on the other that were like climbable I was like okay there's like one or two trees over here and one maybe two really one on this side and I was like but we could definitely sit in them mm-hmm. well we hike in there it's in the sweltering heat it was 95 degrees yeah I decided on sneakers you decided on Crocs thank god yeah, I, I I don't like Crocs for saddle hunting. I understand they're not comfortable. Like standing on that platform in Crocs because Crocs are so flexible, you might as well be barefoot. Yeah, and it's it's just it's not great for a short sit, sure. But yeah, I, I wasn't a huge fan. <clears throat> but so we get in there to where I wanted to hunt, and it is all this like tall grass. The trees that I initially thought we could hang in are just covered in briars and weeds and ivory. And mm. it's just, it's, and the tall grass, there's like no game trails through. 
or very few, and it's like, Jesus, it doesn't even look like deer fucking moving in through. I don't think they do. I'm like, son of a bitch. And you're looking at me and just kind of like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> and I'm just like, hey. <laughs> yeah. Surprise. <laughs> Surprise. We're just going for a hike with our gear on. Looking a little flabby here lately. Thought I'd take you on a long-ass hike. <laughs> so we're fucking just looking around, and we are the fucking stereotypical douchebags mm. on opening day. Yep. I mean, it, we were those two guys that, like, if there was someone else in a tree watching us, they would have just been like, what these fucking morons. Yeah. yeah. It was us. Oh, that was us. That was us. To a T, yeah. So, I apologize to those guys, but, you know. Go fuck yourself. That's fucking public <laughs> land. <laughs> Sorry. But, so, there was another spot that I had marked on Onyx that was kind of in some older timber, uh, by older timber, I just mean much like larger trees and not as much undergrowth. So it wasn't as thick. And there were some good trails going through there, and it was right behind a field on like an inside corner. And I was like, well, this is like on the complete opposite end of the property, but I got it marked. It was a good spot, and we can definitely find some trees. Yeah. So we hike all the way the fuck over there. It's like 4.30 at this point, and... Or just kind of get there and like, okay, I guess uh, we're going to hang out here. Yeah. And climb up in our trees. I I had, I seen a lot of deer. You seen like over 10, right? Five, Around six, ten. seven, eight, nine deer. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I went too far. Yeah. I didn't realize how far I had went until I got up in the tree. I just seen this tree from a distance and it was glowing. And I was just so dehydrated and sweating, and I just needed to get into a tree. Mm. I shouldn't have went so far, though. Yeah, so I'm in the tree, and um, my head is always on a swivel, you know? And I tried to... There's a fine balance between, like, fucking spinning around and just looking all over the place Mm. and staying still. You know what I mean? Like, you want to check your six from time to time. You know what I mean? But you also don't want to be moving a bunch. Yeah. So I'm... But anyway, so basically directly behind me, I look and I see movement. And at this point, it's like, I don't know, maybe an hour before sundown. And so it's kind of dark in there. I mean, it was, it was like some real heavy, uh, what is the top layer of the trees? Canopy. Real heavy canopy in there. Just these trees are tall yeah. and it created a lot of shade. So it was, it was kind of dark in there. But I could see... A couple of deer moving and as i'm looking i'm like oh shit i'm like they i think they're going like right towards john yeah and there's like five deer at least five there may have been more i seen five for sure and so i'm like fuck yeah let's fucking go so i text john i was like you got a bunch coming to you and you were like right on let's get the fuck out of here it's hot <laughs> <laughs> i was like i was like hell yeah you see them and you were like no and I was like, they've got to be, like, right behind you. And yeah. then you send me a screenshot of your location, and you are about 100 yards past where I thought you were. Yeah. And I was like, fuck, they are literally dead in between us. Man, you know, I got up in that tree, and I was like, I went too fucking far. But it's too late now. Yeah. Well, I mean, where you were, in theory, it was an inside corner. It was yeah. probably a good spot. It's mm-hmm. just not where they went. I went to the other inside corner, uh, kind of ish, in between the two fields. Yeah, there was like three fields there in like a row, and they went to the middle one, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. So I basically just watched them carry on. Yeah. And then not long later, I'd say probably 30 minutes later, I see some more deer. But this time, it looks like they're coming from your direction. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, of course, they probably weren't coming. They were probably coming from the same place that does the same like area the does were maybe uh but they took a a left instead of just carrying on straight Mm. um but they started basically beelining right towards me like the along the creek and i'm watching them come in and i'm like at first i thought they were they were does but as they got closer i was like okay that one's definitely a buck that's a buck and there was an eight pointer a four pointer and what might have been like a four or six smaller one and those are the three i seen and they're making their way over to me and i'm like oh cool i'm just gonna watch them Mm -hmm. and then 
<laughs> I see a fourth deer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that a doe with all those bucks? <laughs> it's a doe, dude. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Obviously, it's a button buck yeah. uh, because if, if you don't know, they're in bachelor groups right now, so males will be with males, females will be with females. <laughs> Unless, of course, it's a, a fawn buck uh, that may still be with its mom. But uh, anyway, so this is clearly it's a male, mm-hmm. but it has no antlers, uh, which means <laughs> if I shot said buck, I could tag it as a doe and wouldn't have to use my buck tag. Yeah. So I was thinking pretty hard about shooting this fucking buck. Now, would I do this on private land? No, I would not. Uh, but hey, <laughs> freezer's pretty empty. <laughs> We're on public, yeah. so I'm like, fuck. And I was like, I know it's hot as balls, and I'm like, is John gonna hate me if we have to drag a button buck out of here? So I tried to call you. Yeah. And because I was literally, I was gonna be like, John, is it cool if I shoot a button <laughs> buck? <laughs> I would have said yes. I was in the middle of rappelling down because you said these deer were coming to me, and if they would have had come in the field, I wouldn't have had a shot. So I was getting down to find an area to be ready if they did come over. They didn't come over. But if I would have answered your call, I would have said, execute. And I wish I would have now. Yeah. I do. I should have just shot him. Uh, but I, it was like, you know what? I didn't really care to shoot him. I was like... This is even if this is all we get out of today. Like I had a great day, yeah. you know. So I'm watching them, and then lo and behold, behind me, yeah. Because at this point, I had like spun around because they were coming from behind me too. But now behind me, back to like a great spot, but on the other side of the creek. Mm-hmm. I see movement. Jeez, the ways. It's fucking. It's it. I'm almost positive it's dose. Okay. My phone starts buzzing. I'm like, oh, it must be John. <laughs> and I, I think, or no, no, I think I, you, you did call me. But uh, anyway, so I got a phone yeah, call. Yeah, I called you back. Yeah, and that's when I, I I realized I had a missed call from my wife. Called her, had a family emergency. So I'm like, fuck. Yeah. All right, so I'm like, well, I'm glad I didn't shoot that button buck. I'm going to go ahead and climb down. So I texted you to tell you I'm climbing down. And honestly, that doe... It, it may have not came my way at all, so mm-hmm. whatever. You know what I mean? No big deal. Uh, but all in all, it's a great sit. Uh, it was a hell of a weekend. I got fucking all kinds of family stuff going on. Uh, <clears throat> I'll tell you more when I get off of here. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so fucking just awesome sit there. Uh, despite it being 95 degrees, God. I just, I was just... I mean, shit, I seen a lot of deer that yesterday. I seen all in all, so there was four bucks. I thought it was three initially, then that button buck, that was four. And then the five does, that makes nine. And then the doe, which I think was by itself, but may, may not have been by itself. So it's, I seen ten deer yesterday at Fairhill. Well, now we know where to go. Yeah. And it is a hop, skip, and a jump from the goddamn parking lot. Yeah. So I definitely would like to go back there. Yes. Might go back tonight, actually. Probably won't. Probably just go hunt at my house. Yeah. But it depends on wind, honestly. Huh. Tonight, you say? Mm-hmm. If the wind is decent for there, I wouldn't mind going back there. If you want to go, but we'll, we'll go <coughs> for a hill. But if not, I'll probably just hunt at my house. But I'm hunting. It's a huge temp drop. It's 77 degrees right now. Yeah. Uh, when it was 90 yesterday. So I think tonight should be a great night for movement. And, you know, as, like, one thing I hated about Sunday hunts is the fact that I have to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning. Mm-hmm. And you're fucking almost guaranteed to, by the time you get done, go to the butcher and back to the house, it's fucking 9.30 at night. Yeah. But I've been doing that for the past, like, couple weeks, so yeah. uh, what's one more fucking night of staying up late? I, I just, I don't care. That's why I hate Sunday hunting. I don't know. Yep. I don't think, I, I don't think I've done it yet. No, you know. Uh, I need to hunt harder this a year. A cheetah can change his spots. It can. You know? People can change. Spray paint, brother. <laughs> I need to hunt harder this year. Fuck yeah, dude. Come kill a fucking button buck on public <laughs> land. Hey, if that was me, I would have iced that cocksucker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, I knew I knew you were fucking hurting because I was hurting. Dude, we we took we hiked our ass off. It was 95 yeah. degrees. We left our water at the trucks. Yeah. It's like 
do I really want to make this drag for a button buck? It's an uphill fucking drag. It's hot as balls. So, like I said, I was like, I would have been content just watching him. Mm. But at the same time, I kind of wanted to shoot him. Oh, yeah. So I was like, let me just call John and see what he thinks. If you were like, dude, do not fucking shoot that button buck, <laughs> I would have been like, okay. If you were like, shoot him, I would have been like, okay. My head was pounding. I was so dehydrated. I smelled like Bigfoot's dick. Oh, my God. <laughs> Just, but I would have told you to shoot the fucking thing. Well, I smelled like a locker room at SeaWorld out there, dude. I'm God. telling you, it was rough. Yeah. <clears throat> but I had a blast. You know, just getting a field is fucking wonderful. Yeah. And now that I'm in my saddle, I feel like it's opened up a whole new world. I can go on these long hikes, and it's not a problem. Yeah. What the fuck? If I'd had a climber on my back, oh, what I would have said, fuck dick. you, I'm go back to the truck. Yeah. You'd have been, th- like, getting through some of that brush we ended up going oh, through yeah. with a climber would have been a bitch. Yeah. It is. It's like, and it's, it, the, the cool thing I like about, I mean, if you're listening to this and you don't saddle hunt, I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Get you on. Yeah. But it's, it's like a whole new experience now. Because, like, it's not only is it, like, awesome to the how like streamlined everything is but it's like fun to climb and rappel down with this thing like it's fun i enjoy it it's cool yeah i said friday morning i was like i kind of want to get down now so i can rappel yeah i just want (laughs) fucking batman out of here dude i feel like fucking i don't know it's fucking tom cruise mission impossible coming out of the tree it's cool it's fun i enjoy it so it just it's it is neat it is uh it's superior to it is it is in a lot of ways. I mean, it really is. I think I think I'm gonna take the back band tonight. Uh, unless if you want to come, I'll let you use it. Just try it out to see if you wanna uh, wanna buy one. I mean, they're like 25 bucks, so I think it's worth it for long sets. I think I'm gonna skip this Sunday, but all right, I'll, I'll call you when I need help dragging my booner. <laughs> I hope so, and I'll be right there. I think we're gonna head out after work on Friday, and then definitely Saturday. Yeah. What's uh What's the forecast for the upcoming week here? Let's take a gander. Well, uh, 83 Monday, 84 Tuesday, and then it starts to drop. Thursday is a beautiful day, high of 75. Same thing on Friday. A little warmer on Saturday, 79. You know, you know how I know God hates me. What's that? Because it never fails. <laughs> for some reason. The days I have my kids are always, like, great fucking hot yes. weather. And then the days that I don't have my kids, it's fucking hot. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, because when I have my kids, I, w- I want to spend time with my kids. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And it's like, when I don't have them, fuck, I now so let's go hunting. It's yeah. fucking 85. You know? It's like, God damn it. But it is what it is. They'll be fine on their own. Looks like the wind is starting to switch to that northwest wind we are used to, so... Yeah. Yep. It's switching back. Uh, really, tonight it's slowly making its way there. Mm-hmm. It went from south uh, to southeast. It's going to be tonight uh, to east, and then yep, it'll go back to the north. Yeah, summer is summer's pretty much over, brother. We're on the downturn. Man, look at Thursday. Oh, I know, but I can't go Thursday. I wanted to, but I can't. It's a northwest 10 mile an hour wind, which is like money. 75 degrees and a low of 56. Might see if I can move my tattoo appointment. Hell yeah. <laughs> no, I'm definitely going to go Friday. It's it's about Friday's the same. Friday's pretty damn similar, yeah. It's a little more northern wind and one degree warmer, but it's it's going to be great. Uh, a little cloudier Thursday, which I like, I like. Do you have your children this Saturday, or can we hit up that spot at Fair Hill? Saturday uh, is Oktoberfest. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You coming to that? Probably. Yeah, it's a great time. It is a great We're time. We're going to drink lots of German beer, eat some oh, German yeah. potato salad. Wiener schnitzel. Wiener schnitzel. I'm going to see John in a dirndl. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that is. DM me for pics. <laughs> oh, man. It's those German-like dresses. Oh, yeah, and uh, later, later, later hosen is yeah. like what the dudes wear. And yeah, the chicks it's like wear dirndls. shorts with stirrups or whatever the fuck they are. Yeah, I got a pair, but they're not G-rated. <laughs> <laughs> love you, baby. Miss you. God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sam should love it. I mean, she, we found out she's all, almost all the way German, so bring her along. Hell she'll, yeah, she'll she, probably 
bust out some native tongue. Yeah, so have a few uh, lining kugels and start speaking German. <laughs> uh, I want dear. another beer, but I'm going hunting. Uh, oh, well, I'll have this one then. Uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. It's football Sunday, brother. Ravens are on. You know, probably getting their ass kicked. I, I'm just I've you done with football? Fallen out of love with yeah. football. I just I just don't care anymore. <clears throat> that happens. Like I, I think I just like I, I still like watching the Eagles, but I just man, I'm always hunting and yeah. on Sundays and. It used to be like a big family thing for me, yeah. you know, like when I was a kid, like Uncle Bob, my Uncle Dave, my Uncle Tony, we'd all go to my grandmother's and um, Uncle Dave's like permanently in a nursing home yeah. and Uncle Bob died. Yeah. Uh, it's, uh, it's just, it's just not the same anymore for me. So, it's <laughs> you know, Mar Jackson already getting his dick pushed in the dirt, 21 yards and interception. Thank God he's not on my fantasy team. Piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I did like fantasy. I, I I enjoyed playing fantasy. But yeah, you, that makes it fun. That makes football fun. Yeah, because yeah, you have like a reason to watch mm-hmm. like games other than your team. But it's just for me, it's just time consuming, and I'm I, I've got other shit I I'm trying to do. So you know, I'm gonna kill big bucks or does butt bucks. I don't care. Come on. I want meat in my freezer, baby. I won't kill a small buck, but a button buck. Hey, that's <laughs> that's different. Should we I, let the cat out of the bag, Ryan? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm sure he won't mind because we're usually talking shit on him. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, um, and we'll get the full story when whenever we do get him on the pod. But Ryan, October, yeah, had tremendous success yeah. on opening day. Bunk, Congratulations yeah. to our uh, our brother. Our, teammate down in uh where the fuck uh comico yeah well comico county mm. he shot him a nice nice freezer nanny he said he was <laughs> a little upset about it though yeah well <laughs> it, it dude it looked like a nice size dough yeah, to me yeah and he was like yeah he was pumped about it. he's got this big dough he said he takes it to the butcher and the butcher weighs it and was like yeah it's like 75 pounds <laughs> <laughs> he's like this was last year's fawn <laughs> <laughs> he was like what <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> that fucking thing was heavy. Uh, I thought that was funny as shit. But hey, I mean, it looks like a big dough to me in the picture, dude. It, if it's not this year's fawn, I don't give a shit. Yeah, exactly. I'm shooting it. I don't yeah. care if it's five year old doe or young doe. But science says you should kill those young does. Yeah, and leave the older does to mother the fawns. Have you heard that? Yeah, for like a, a reproduction standpoint, right? Mm, yeah, yeah. 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 Yep, and there's a different train of thought to like alter the herd dynamic. You kill the old one, yeah, but that's kind of a gamble. Yeah, but if you kill the young ones, not like fawns, obviously, but because an old doe will have two, sometimes three fawns. Yeah, as to that new doe, when she gets bred, she's probably only going to have one for the first year, so th- she's literally producing less deer. Yeah, so why not take that one out? Exactly. When you leave the old one to live, she'll have two or three. Yeah. Really bump up that population. Which makes sense, you know, if you like shooting does, which we are fucking some doe shooting sons of bitches. Yeah. So congratulations to Ryan. Hell yeah. At least somebody got it done. Big Kevin got something done, too. Well, uh, I'm sure we'll have him on soon, though, so we'll let him tell that story. Is he coming to Blackwater? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I I know he's, uh, he's building a fucking... What's fortress called? a barn dominium behind his house this fucking ungodly large pole barn oh god so i know he's really busy but i think he's still coming okay last i talked to him he's still down well, if so. not yeah if not, not for we'll me ki- yeah, and me yeah i need we'll to kill one of them the fuckers oh yeah yeah uh, if you make it down for the full week you're gonna kill one <clears throat> i mean literally everyone who came for the full week had shots on sicko yeah everyone well, Mainly, whether or not <clears throat> yeah they got it done or not, it's different, but everybody had opportunity. Yeah, I came the last half of the week last time, and that was shitty. Yeah. So if I come down, well, when I come down, it's definitely going to be for at least the first half. Yeah. Because that's when we're hitting all the good spots, and, you know, like, you kind of came at the ass end. Yeah. You missed the fucking trip out on the boat, which was just yeah. awesome. Hopefully we can convince that guy to let us to take us out again or take y'all out again yeah i mean i'll tell you what my jaw was hurting last time but i'm willing to make it happen 
Yeah, that that's... dude. That was that was one of the coolest hunts I've ever been on in my life. You I mean, killed a couple that time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, Kevin killed two. Of course he did. <laughs> well, I was tagged out. <laughs> oh yeah. At this point, so uh, it was me, Kevin, Ryan, and Brandy, and I can't remember or no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't remember. I think Ryan, wherever he was, he was going to sit. I, I don't know. It was a fucked up situation, but <clears throat> Kevin ended up shooting one, and then another one walked out, and he looked over at me and went like this, <laughs> put his hands up, and like shrugged, and I was like, "Fucking send it, dude!" And he, he shot another one. So I don't know. I don't know if he was kind of if the guy that took us was a little irritated by that. Really. I, I don't know. He didn't, like, say anything, but, like, the look on his face when he seen Kevin Dragon 2 is kind of like, what the fuck, you know? Okay. But, I don't know. I could be wrong. Maybe I read into that a little too much, but I don't know. And maybe he was, like, looking at it as, like, he brought us to a spot and we're fucking doubling up on deer, you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's, like, it's his first second, you know what I mean? So I, I you, and I made sure to tell him that I was like, yeah, it's his first one. And so, did you not want him to kill anything? Or what the fuck, you take him out there? For? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, maybe I read into that too yeah, much. Maybe I, I, I don't want to. I probably did. I don't know. Sometimes I, I just, I just talk too fucking much, don't I? Just tell me <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> hey, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Thank you. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, I am, I am super pumped to get back down there because I probably won't make it back down there until we all go. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to... Uh, Three weeks away, brother. I wanted to get, like, uh, something before we went down. Just because, like, I really enjoy, like, the... I just... I want you guys to get them. You know yeah. what I mean? But, I, of course, I want to get them, too. Yeah, of course. So, like, it, I thought it would be really cool if I could get a stag before we go. That way I could kind of, like, work on guiding everybody, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> I think that would be cool, but... Because I don't have a fucking clue what I'm doing down there. Well, you know. We, we, it, me and Ryan have done so much work down there like you guys just fucking tag along we know all the yeah. spots you just Ryan's point to a tree and i'm like scouting. Okay. yeah well i mean you know that's that's a great way to learn like yeah. honestly it is like you can <clears throat> you can go down and figure it out on your own or you could go down with people who've done a lot of scouting and spent a lot of time in there and yeah you know, i'm not saying i know everything because fuck i'm i have so much to learn about these things but i've i have spent a lot of time looking hunting and ryan even more uh he scouted out some places for us which is just like thank you ryan appreciate mm-hmm. the hell out of that dude uh he went and spent basically all day scouting the weekend before season M- memorial day weekend <clears throat> or labor day weekend and found some a couple new great units units so that's the thing about blackwater it's so big yeah i've spent i don't know <clears throat> 20 30 full days hunting there over the past couple years there's still units i've never been in and there's two of them that he went in that we've never been in that he looked at and found some great spots. So okay. it's like, fuck yeah, dude. You know what I mean? I'm excited. Yeah. I am excited. And that's, that's if I could give a piece of advice to someone who uh, uh, is just going to Blackwater, it would be don't like hop around from unit to unit spend a little time in every unit and get to know it before you abandon it and go to another one yeah because they're so big and i think every unit well i know every unit has deer in it so let's figure out where they're at in that unit and once you get that unit figured out then okay i know how to hunt this unit i'm going to put that in my back pocket and it might change a little from year to year mm-hmm. but like the first unit i went to and kind of figured out i went back into the same exact thing the second year and i shot a stag and a hind in the same hunt like that is pure off of spending time there and i I hunted there probably five times before i i shot anything Mm. and hunted there twice before i saw anything so it's like just spending time in those units is fucking you can't put up cameras you know what i mean you can't look up shit online because there's no information about these things online people won't tell you yeah nobody's gonna want to tell you nobody wants to help you they don't like people especially if you have uh out of state license plate yeah you're you're gonna get some looks (laughs) yeah so it's yeah it's tough you gotta just spend the time and hunt them yeah i can't wait man there's nothing like the sunrise over the marsh down there it is something else. Yeah. Like fog rolling in over top of the frag, and you just got those dead trees sticking out of the marsh. 
man, it's beautiful down there. It is. And, and then it. you hear a sick a roar off in the distance. <laughs> yeah. Just, oh, yeah. I'm ready. Chills. I'm ready. But first, we got some we got some bucks to put down. Big we got dog. some white tail to kill. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. I. You know, it's the first <laughs> opening day in a couple years. I have not put something on the ground, so a little disappointed. I'm going out tonight. I'm gonna make it my mission to get something <laughs> in my freezer. So stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be back real soon, and I will let you know what happened. You got anything else, Johnny? I got nothing. Aim small, miss small. Be safe. That's right. It's long season. Get your saddle. Yes, that too. Shoot Sever, dude. They're fucking great. Yeah, or, or Grim Reaper. Or, yeah, they're okay. Just not... Uh, one of those ones Ryan shoots. Swacker. Yeah, don't shoot those. <laughs> they're good, bro. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Peace. See ya.